and honey. So I don't know where my little mallet is. So y'all already know this drill. There's no, no singing bowl today, honey. <laughs> hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your urgent ancestor messages for you. Uh, Aries, I also did your uh, urgent spirit guide messages, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out if you would like. And I also do uh, your weekly general tarot reading for your zodiac sign, Aries, which I'll leave a link to that as well over there for you to check out. But when it comes to any of my readings, Aries, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, baby. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, right? You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, Aries, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever and if you find some cards that resonate with you aries i would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do which cards called out to you the most and how they do because that's how i keep up with y'all through the comments uh also i would like to ask for you to if you do find some cards that resonate my beautiful aries to be sure to um give this video a like and subscribe because it does support my tarot channel a lot and i always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way uh so yeah and then finally aries before we get into this reading i just want to remind you that i don't feel like any type of tarot reading should be making decisions in your life i be i believe tarot readings tarot cards are here to give you some food for thought something for you to consider as you go throughout your life but never making the official decision for you because it's your life to live not mine not these tarot cards it's not anybody else that you get receive a reading from. So with all that in mind, baby, let's get this going. I don't know why I'm calling y'all baby Aries. <laughs> um, I'm just feeling really good today, I guess. Uh, so let's get into this, Aries. Let's talk about this. Uh, we have the Page of Cups here. So uh, with this Page of Cups being the center fold of this energy, uh, right off the bat, baby, <laughs> why am I calling you baby, Aries? Y'all are the only signs I've done this for, honey. So I need to stop that. I'm sorry for disrespecting y'all. But Aries, with this Page of Cups, the center, like the meaning of this energy for it to be the center of it is letting you know that quite literally Spirit's trying to offer some type of opportunity, some type of blessing towards you, offering a cup towards you. Now, let's not neglect the fact what the Page of Cups actually represents, right? The Page of Cups represents Aries, the deepening of a current relationship as well, um, or someone new coming in. So I, you know, I'm not going to wean into the narrative of a person, um, but for those Aries that do resonate with it being a person, keep, I will, I did, just want to have you keep that in mind as well. So, um, but I'm only going to be speaking in terms of an opportunity for this reading just for simplicity's sake. You know, these readings are always collaborative, right, honey? Uh, you guys know what would make sense for you. So right off the bat, that's a really good card to be having, my beautiful Aries. This is a card just of like really good opportunity trying to be presented to you through your ancestors, Aries. So really keep your eyes peeled, whether it's through a person, because this could be the opportunity become, could be coming in through the shape of a person, Aries, as well. So I just want you to keep that in mind. So regardless just keep your eyes peeled and then we have the cow spirit coming in number 15 equaling to six now this is a really good card to have as well the miracles are endless now i'm I might i can't help but feel like areas that you had this card before when your past readings they're obviously not in, related to your ancestor reading but uh, this is a beautiful card to have paired with this page of cups so this is really reaffirming the message of what i said with the page of cups aries in the sense that really good opportunities are coming really good blessings are coming that would be coming in as the shape of like a miracle so let's break this down a little bit how i like you read that's the thing with tarot cards right you kind of have to read in between the lines with it so with this dynamic this is already like a dynamic of like very I mean, I know it's such a normal thing for tarot readers to be speak in dramatics, especially just because, but really with this type of dynamic, if I were, were to be receiving this reading for myself, Aries, I would be really excited because this is like, um, it's like a, like I keep hearing the word surreal. I feel like you, some type of surreal moment is quickly heading towards you. And surreal, if you're not familiar with what the word surreal means, I mean, honey, I'm going to be honest here. I'm not no dictionary, but from what I mean with surreal is where it's just like, you can't believe that this is what your life is in that moment. You can't believe that this is actually happening in a good way though, obviously with this type of dynamic. So really good cards right there off the bat. I don't remember if I told you Aries um, to write down number six for numerology to look up at a later point, but if I didn't, please do that. 
uh, after this reading to see how it correlates with the messages here. Uh, we also have the tiger spirit coming in. You're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so. Very much so a uh, Aries uh, knight of, not knight, uh, king of wands energy with this. So right off the bat with this type of dynamic Aries, your ancestors are really trying to have you start taking action because right from the get-go from this type of energy here this is really just such an abundant time energetically for you this is such a really good time for you to uh create now uh there could be like a current like standstill with you or like this um <sighs> how do i want to word this aries it's almost as if like you don't know with this seven of cups quite where to like direct your energy to, right? Because you can be receiving these cards, right? Uh, Aries, and you're just like, Velka, I see this page of cups. I see this cow spirit. I even see this tiger spirit, but you don't know where your ancestors are trying to call you to. Makes sense, right? But with the seven of cups, I kind of get this sense of where, notice with this card, and maybe hopefully it can catch on camera. I apologize. This is upside down for me, so it's kind of hard for me to see Aries. But uh, with these cards, it's almost like you'll see in the, I hope you, hopefully you can, the markings on it or the engravings of the cups, there are hearts. So I, even though there's seven different cups, seven different opportunities, and it doesn't have to be seven, but like you have choices, right? It's kind of like a, it's, you're not limited in terms of this opportunity, these blessings through one specific way. So it's not like a situation of where it's like um, limited in the sense of where it's just like, oh, well, you know, like a right job raise, right? That could be this narrative, right? If you continue feeding energy into a specific job or project, that would be where the abundance starts coming in. Uh, really, I feel like the main focal point would be like this tiger card that you just have to take a leadership role and take action. Uh, be willing to acknowledge, take note, with this uh, tiger spirit, it says, trust that you're capable of doing so, of taking that leadership role. So Aries, I feel like really, it's not about which cup would be the most profitable or the most successful for you, but more about which cup that you, I mean, one person you just want to do, right? Because I do just see like overall success with this, but it's more so just about taking action and just making a choice with one of these cups and being like, hey, like you're ready for some abundance. Your ancestors are saying, honey, we can offer that to you. We can help you um, bring this blessing forward, but you have to choose a cup, right? In order for like, in order for your ancestors to fill that cup for you, you have to make a choice, right? So keep that in mind, my beautiful Aries. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, like very much so right off the bat. You're the first sign so far, Aries, that right off the bat with the general spread comes in with like high, um, I mean, just really good uh, energies right off the bat. With this 10 of pentacles, this is just more so reaffirming these messages here of just like how much of a profitable time times are coming towards you. I do just get uh, this sense, Aries, that some of you guys sh should start connecting with your ancestors a little bit more, make it more of a point to connect with your ancestors. Just off of the simple fact that with this 10 of pentacles, this is like a stable this is i mean granted this is like the uh card where it's just like uh no no longer any financial stresses the stability right but it's also having that like very secure uh circle of people around you and i can't help but feel like you'd be very um what's the word it would be uh, a very good opportunity for you to include your ancestors more in in regards to your goals, in regards to just your spiritual journey, or I mean, just your path and your life in general, because I feel like it's kind of like an untapped market. <laughs> that sounds so bad. It's not an untapped market, but an untapped energy for you to really be able to start utilizing, right? It's one of those things like, you know, in, um, you know, some of you guys may know, but in like college, uh, there's options to take tutoring classes and not a lot of people will take that opportunity or even in certain jobs, right? Certain jobs will be like, oh, hey, like we'll give you like uh, for further education. If you want to go to college, we'll put it like we'll pay like X amount of money, several thousands of dollars for it, free, like free, completely free. You just have to take the classes. That's what this is. But like, it seems as if you're not taking, taking a uh, advantage of that opportunity of those uh, paid classes or those, you know, and that's, you get the point Aries, right? I don't need to harp on it much longer. So uh, with these two other tarot cards, Aries, beautiful, beautiful, like keep on saying it with you. It's just such a good opportune time for you, Aries. And it's very much so on, 
It connects very beautifully with the uh, general tarot reading I did for your zodiac sign Aries. So um, be sure to check it out over here if you really do resonate with this message because I can't help but feel like this is like an extension of that reading. So with this four of pentacles, this four of pentacles is almost it's again where it's just like you make the choice of finally investing your pentacles your energy into something aries finally into whatever this cup is like whatever cup you decide to choose right with this queen of wands this is more action remember i think i even said with the tiger spirit very much so a king of wands energy so with this queen of wands the queen of wands again is all about action honey it's all about that action it's all about um the queen of wands exudes confidence right <laughs> i can't i'm trying to get y'all to see this card but like the ring light it just makes it so difficult there we go i found the angle honey uh but yeah with this area uh, aries card with this queen of wands my beautiful aries it, she feels ex insanely confident about her gifts about her passions right she doesn't worry about the um what is going on with other like to her left to her right she's just as focused on herself again very much so like keeping her eyes on the prize the prize being like this abundance the miracles coming in aries so truly i can't help but feel like your ancestors are trying to say honey is just being like aries you just need to make a choice at this current point you just need to take action in some way and feel like you're capable of doing it right i can't help but feel like Aries. some of you guys are limiting yourself some of you guys have some beautiful projects that you could bring, like um put out into the forefront and you decide to like hold yourself back because you're just there's a level of insecurity you feel like you're not able to you know i don't know you'll you'll get the point uh Aries. i feel like you already resonate with that sense so i don't need to harp on it any further with that so uh very 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 beautiful start to your reading aries so let's actually deep dive a little bit into what it is that uh your ancestors aries want to have you looking out for now this could be like a certain situation coming uh, forward this could just be about usually with my readings aries i always like to um i'm all about that self-development that self-growth um, so I always like to see about what it is that we can do to bring us closer to those blessings that we talk about, right? So that's really, I think, what I'm going to put the focus on. What should Aries actually put focus on and work on with themselves so they can really fully open up to that page of cups and to that new opportunity into those blessings, really? We already talked about the taking action, so I feel like we don't need to cover that base anymore, but... Let's see if there's anything else maybe something in your environment that you need to uh be aware about uh let's just see okay let's get those four this one wanted to come out as well <laughs> aries also let me know if you're if you're not new to my channel i mean I, you're welcome to say it as well if you are new to my channel aries but um let me know if you guys like this angle of video more i kind of um i'm not sure how i feel about it i enjoy it but i also miss being able to look at you guys um i guess i'm not looking at you but i enjoy being able to like make a connection but you know that's not here y'all are here for the ancestor reading so let's look at what it is that you need to be working on funnily enough the devil card comes in right <laughs> so already like this is talking about some type of habit this could come in the shape of a person again but I i'm going to have relay this message more so about like a personal habit of ourselves right rather than making it about an outside energy let's make it a little bit more empower empowering don't you think aries so i feel like this is already um what i was implying with before just based off of your other cards aries in a sense of insecurity i feel like that's the main thing here that your ancestors want you to be looking at aries is your insecurities right this queen of cups and this ace of cups you want to open your heart up to something you want to open up uh show the world like your gifts or just in general just be more um open to the energies around you be more vulnerable even um but there's just this sense of insecurity it's almost like uh with this queen of cups here it's almost like this protective protective energy of where it's just like even though you care like obviously like you have like you hold this close um there's a close attachment or like this sense of um what's the word for it I can't think of the proper word, Aries, but it's almost just like you want to protect, like, we'll just use the example of, like, wanting to protect your heart, wanting to protect this thing you feel extremely passionate about. So it's like, um, 
you know, let's just say like a specific art project, right? A painting. You've been working on this painting for years and it's just like, wow, you love this painting. You also just want to like keep it hidden, keep it protected because you don't want to have the outside world be critical of it because you love it, right? But you don't know how the world will see it because it just goes back to that insecurity. I forget which zodiac sign of the earth signs have that same imposter syndrome, but I'm getting that same sense. But maybe it's not even an imposter syndrome because I feel like you acknowledge your capabilities it's just almost like you, Aries, there's like something in the outside that you're stressing over and that you don't want to expose yourself to or open up yourself up to for like criticism, perhaps. Fool card and the Page of Pentacles, right? The new beginning comes in when you adopt the Fool energy, right? You kind of just have to let go and let God, honey. You have to realize that it doesn't, like people are going to think you look like a fool no matter what it is you do, right? Whether you choose not to do it or whether you choose to offer your pentacle or whether you choose to withhold it, you're going to look like a fool to somebody. So it's at some point you kind of have to just get to a point, Aries, where you realize or you think about it and you're just like, you know, do I actually even care remotely at all about the opinion of others? Do I, like, is it, is the opinion, this is what I want you to ask yourself, Aries. Does the opinion of other people matter more to you than showing your gifts to the world, than honoring what fulfills you and really um, leaning into it more? Because that's essentially what I feel like is going on here, where it's just like, you want to put yourself out there but it's almost just like the outside perception matters more to you or is more important to you than honoring your passions than showing your heart to the world right so let's see here mm -mm. All right, two more cards. So we have this page of earth. I mean, this is the same exact card. So, um, you know, I am going to just, again, for those that are resonating with the Aries of like a person, uh, two pages of pentacles. Um, this, Especially with this knight of air, I was going to say you might expect communication, but I feel like if you Aries are wanting to um, open your heart up to somebody, it, with these two pentacles here and this knight of air coming in, this is more so a call of action, call of action for you, Aries, to take action towards this other person communicating. Because I feel like they would receive your pentacle really well. But um, back to the original example for the um, this message uh, in terms of an opportunity. With these two pages of pentacles, this is like a new beginning. Even in this card, Aries, you can read it says good news about financial matters. This is just an overall. Uh, pages represents new beginnings and for these two uh, pages to come in together like this also with that page of cups from before honey it's just con like a, a lot of new energy over here just a lot of new energy night of air like and it's through you taking action even with this night of air it's about action the night of air is probably the quickest um night out of all of the suits but you know i always say with the knight of air the knight of air has good intentions they're motivated but then they start like and they start going forward but then they start getting in their head a little bit and maybe start backtracking i always say it's like that wishy-washy energy where it's like some days you're feeling it and then other days you're not right um so yeah aries this is such a beautiful spread for you guys this is really about seemingly like the opportunities are waiting for you. The blessings are there. And your ancestors are really trying to be there to uh, help support you and guide you at this point. But they need you to meet you. They, they need you, Aries, to meet them halfway, your ancestors, in regards to this, by you taking a little bit more action, by, you know, going back to that, making that decision with that Seven of Cups and just going for it, right, with that Tiger card. Because the miracles are endless, honey. So... Yeah, my beautiful Aries, that is the cards that I have for you uh, for this urgent uh, ancestor reading. Uh, so let me know how you resonate with this. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Um, and then also, if you would like, I would really appreciate it if you were to share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. Until next time, though, my beautiful Aries, I'll talk to you later.